What point of view should you choose for your novel? Is one better than the other? Stick around to find out. Let's get started. Hey guys, Noor here and welcome back to my channel. For those visiting for the first time, hello, I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. Be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. So when it comes to points of view, there are three main ones to consider for your writing. First person point of view, second person point of view, and third person point of view. Now, third person point of view does branch off into three types of points of view, but you can research that some more if you're interested in how each works. First person and second person point of view are pretty straight forward. First person is when the main character is the narrator. So the story is full of I statements. I went here, I said this, and the main character is narrating what they observe around them. Easy peasy. Second person point of view is when the narrator talks like this. You went here, you did this, you said that. So it's a lot of you statements. It's almost like the narrator is talking about you, the reader, doing the action. And finally, third person point of view is where the narrator isn't part of the story, but they can't see all the characters. So they'll say things like, he did this, she said that, he went here. Okay, now that we're all caught up, what point of view should you choose for your novel? Well, that depends on what point of view you're comfortable writing and what your novel needs, as each point of view has its own pros and cons. For instance, with first person point of view, the pro is that you're very close to the main character because you're writing in their voice. The con is that you're restricted to what the main character knows. If they don't know something, you don't know it either. Second person point of view is a little similar to first person point of view because the pro is that the reader gets to experience things as the main character. The con is that this point of view is very limiting because everything is you, you, you. Third person point of view is the most dynamic of the three, because the reader is privy to more than what the main character knows. The con is that the reader feels a bit removed from the main character. They're watching what's happening from a distance instead of experiencing it with the main character. So which of these points of view matter more to your story? Are you trying to tell the story of several characters at once? Then third person is probably ideal for your story. Is it important to you that readers feel close to your main character? Then first person probably works best for your story. Also, to figure out which point of view you're most comfortable with, I recommend writing the same scene twice, the first time in first person point of view and the second time in third person point of view. Then consider which one came more naturally to you and which one sounds better for the story. The reason I'm not mentioning second person here is because you're probably never going to use it in novels, but it is a great point of view for short stories if you have a unique story in mind. Because of a lot of trial and error, I've learned that I'm more comfortable writing in first person point of view when it comes to my novels, but I could also write in third person point of view when it comes to short stories. But writing a novel in third person point of view is definitely not for me. I get so frustrated because I feel so far removed from my main character. So if I'm writing something long, I prefer to feel like I'm in my character's shoes. Point being, figure out what makes sense for you because every writer is different. There is no right or wrong. So that's all I have for you today. I'd love to know, do you have a favorite point of view when it comes to reading and writing? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your story to the next level. Also, don't don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frain, Alan J. Early, and Noah Kovanti from my shout out tier over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate you. And remember, nor for presidents.